Uh, Kira, you have a story for the people. What oh, is, is it my going turn on? next? I believe right. so. Yes, it is. All right. You've got to bring the this mood back This is about the, uh, the companies uh, who are handing shareholders hundreds of millions of dollars in dividends while they are laying folks off at the same time. Um, and, I, and I found this, um, this story actually pretty interesting. Uh, and I have, I, have some, I have some thoughts on it that I want to share with you guys and see what you think. So um, this article from Common Dream says that five major U.S. corporations have laid off thousands of workers in recent weeks um, and have simultaneously dished out hundreds of millions of dollars in cash dividends to wealthy shareholders. Sounds very familiar to the UFC story I just talked about, right? Mm -hmm. Except they're not actually trying to fire anybody. Um, but drawing outrage from uh, people like Senator Bernie Sanders and others who say that companies should be using the money to keep people employed. So the Washington Post reported Tuesday that manufacturing giant Caterpillar, tool maker Stanley Black & Decker, uh, clothing company Levi Strauss, uh, office furniture company Steelcase, and World Wrestling uh, Entertainment have paid out a combined $700 million in cash dividends to shareholders while they shutter operations and lay employees off as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to ravage the U.S. economy. So this sounds very maddening, you know, a big reason to get angry. But then I kept reading the, um, the article and I noticed something. So here's what I noticed. So they start going into, um, you know, Caterpillar announcing a $500 million distribution to shareholders on April 8th. That was about two weeks after indicating that operation that some of the plants would stop, right? Because I think that we went on a shelter in place at the very end of March. So their operations, I think, would have had to have stopped. Um, so, so, and then on April 8th, they gave shareholders $500 million in distributions. So then it goes into Stanley Black & Decker um, announcing at the beginning of April that it was going to lay off workers due to coronavirus pandemic. Um, and then it doled out $106 million in dividends to shareholders. And the same story with Levi Strauss, you know, they had to shut down a bunch of their factories and obviously stores. And then at the same time, rewarded shareholders $32 million in dividends on April 7th. And so what I started noticing as I was reading through all of these examples is that they are sharing these, they're, they're handing out these dividends around the same days. And so I, what I got to thinking is that it's possible that these dividends could have been from um, the first quarter, first quarter dividends. Um, I went in to look at some of the profits from the companies and the revenue, like Caterpillar brought in $10.6 billion in revenue in quarter one, um, and they reported their quarter one um, numbers at the beginning of April. So I think it would make sense that their stockholders would get their payouts at the beginning of April. I could be wrong on that, but then I looked at Stanley Black & Decker. They had $3.1 billion in revenues and they doled out that $6 million dividend. And I went through and, and it looked like the, the, the revenue definitely matched what you would say, suspect dividend payout to look like. So I guess with this, you know, the, this, this, this particular article is outraged at, um, you know, at these payouts to investors and stuff. And I think that instead of looking at it in that light, we may want to look at it in the light of, well, this is a corporation. These are corporations. And they're, the only reason they're put together is to actually make a profit. And it's not really their job to keep jobs open for, you know, humanity's sake. I know that sounds really shitty. And, you know, I don't think it's the best solution for how things should operate in the world, but it is how things operate right now. And so I think this article is more of an argument for like, you know, a socialized work place, you know, more so than like rabble, rabble, we should be pissed off at these dividend payouts. What do you guys think about my take on that? Okay. So dividend payouts, generally, it's a portion of the profit that is made by the company. That's how it generally works. Now, the interesting thing about this is you have to think about in quarter one, we have pandemic. It's you know a thing that's happening in mm -hmm. quarter one that they're dealing with. So these are businesses that are getting bailouts from the government. I've got Steve Mnuchin's money gun has probably hit all of them in some degree. Mm -hmm. uh, banks, uh, I was just learning about this earlier from uh, Rising. 
that banks actually the most banks, big banks, which are now cont- contain most of the money, actually with the PP with the uh, payment protection plan that went out, they went to all of their major players first, their large corporate uh, mm-hmm. investors and people had money with them, and helped them get all the money from these accounts. So I think that what we're seeing is potentially an offset of the profit. Now I could be wrong on this, this is speculation, obviously. Mm-hmm. But what I think is happening is that that the that the people can't work or they're working. They're, again, they're going to maintain the services they need to be profitable. That's first. Those are your essential workers mm-hmm. um, that, of course, aren't getting paid. Those people are then getting money from the government to uh, be paid. They're getting basically zero cost uh, loans. A lot of them took small business loans. They're all getting a huge amount of money. And since the government is subsidizing the cost of their employees, That's they're not right. paying their employees because many of them are being laid off or furloughed or X, Y, or Z. It's very similar to what we covered with Amazon and their executives yesterday. And so they have all this free money. They have all this zero interest money that they got. Why not give themselves a bonus for the work that they've done well? That's, I'm sure, what they're thinking, and that's, I'm sure, exactly what they did because now their labor cost is lower. But when were those government payouts issued? Was it by before March concluded? I'm sure that if, even if they hadn't gotten it yet, they would have been assured yeah. that they were coming. So yeah. either okay. way, it's a confidence game when it comes down to it anyway. So if they had it, I it makes sense there. Okay. If they know they're getting it, they know it's going to happen. Right. Either way, they know that they can pay people out. And we've seen a lot of dividends throughout the industry right now. And the way I read that is um, people are ca- – it's a sense it's like, hey, we're cashing out a little bit. Everyone gets their equity so that you know we're just taking a little bit of value out of the company – uh, so if there's a risk associated, don't worry. Keep your stock with us. We're going to give you a lot of money. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, all I mean, right, Kira, I'm picking up what you're putting I'm, down I'm, on that. So okay. Kira and Daniel kind of uh, brought up a lot of good points. So I think I'm just going to basically repeat myself in regards to this entire situation. Uh, we don't owe these damn corporations a single thing. These corporations have bought our democracy and they own our politicians. Our political class doesn't look out for us. It's a sick system where the establishment, corporate media, corporations, big banks, Wall Street executives, and the political establishment are all basically living in a weird symbiotic relationship, and they're only worried about each other and their inner circle. So what do we do as citizens? Um, We strike. We got to keep on striking. We got to call for a nationwide strike. It has to be done. We have to go out there in the streets. Just take, for example, what the people did at the Mad Asphalt Plant. I know it's something completely different, but for one hour, they shut that asphalt plant down. They were aggressive and unapologetic. We as citizens nationwide, red state, blue state, it doesn't matter, young, old, we get out into the streets. We don't owe these corporations anything. They've ruined our democracy, so we have to shame these politicians. We have to fight. That's what we have to do. Fight. Man, one more thing to that. Here's another. This is another piece of speculation, too. This goes with Nancy Pelosi, which we covered earlier in a bunch of other things. Yeah, don't worry. She'll tell you to calm down. So calm down, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Calm down. Okay. I think the reason that they are so desperate to not give people money in a UBI sense is exactly what Kit just said. If you need money, any job, to pay your rent, to pay for your health insurance— to do any of the things that we need to survive in this uh, great country, obviously. Um, Well, you better cry and grovel for any position at any company right now. But if the poorest Americans were getting $2,000 a month, why would they stay working at McDonald's where they're treated like crap by their boss? Why would they keep working at Caterpillar? I think the reason that they're holding out on giving anyone more aid is that they are terrified that people do just what Kit said. Their only reason that people aren't. I mean, how many people are like, oh, yeah, no, I've been at my business for 40, 50 years. I'm loyal to them. Those people don't really exist anymore. Those they don't exist at all. People. Those are, Those they're, are they're the gone. That, the, that Mitch McConnell is trying to take their pension away. That's the people that have that. Bigfoot's probably more real than those people, right? Yeah. Now, you just mentioned, yes. okay? <laughs> and so right now... They're paying themselves out. They're making sure that they are safe, and they know that the government's not going to bail you out because the government made you whole, made sure you could pay for rent, that you could do all the things and remain in quarantine and stay safe. Why would you be at the job you're at that treats you like crap, that pays a fraction of what you're getting paid when you can live off 2000 right. They are keeping you in the place you are. 
So um, again, strike, strike, strike. Kira, any other final words before we do move on? Um, nope, I'm good. <laughs>